still is actually falling uh, within four cubes. So as you can see now, initially the falling within four cubes is actually white color. Once the vacuum aggregate form and aspect from the surface, it forms green color. So now the vacuum aggregate can be easily separated from the contribution medium by just after falling uh, within form out from the cartoon medium. So in this study, once the Already formed is smoother with microgravity, we use it to strip the waste water. So, in this case, we can optimize the light intensity and also smooth the concentration that is required by the microgravity to carry out the photosynthesis process while consuming the nutrient that has been present in the waste water. So, in this case, uh, we manage to strip the waste water and then the microgravity can be harvested after the treatment process and it can actually be used for all related form treatment again for the subsequent uh, waste water treatment process and the attached effect of the uh, all related form field we can actually extract the liquid for the conclusion of the virus. So the extraction of the liquid here we carry out by using the solar extraction together with the support and needed use. So we use the solar with the microgravity attached from the support already formed in when we uh, extract the liquid out from the attached microgravity. Then after that, we can also carry out the modeling in order to predict how effective this attached microgravity to treat the waste water as well as to produce the uh, liquid for biological production. And then this modeling also covers how effective this microgravity or attached microgravity to actually uh, absorb the CO2 uh, that has been introduced into the medium part of the decarbonization process that uh, our country of Malaysia here in Malaysia we are trying to do. And then for the fundamental research, we actually try to identify how the microgravity can form the attachment onto the foreign related for cubes. We actually identified all these forces that actually enable the microalgae to form attachment on the surface of the foreign related for cubes. And then we also carry out the kinetics, how fast the microalgae can actually form the attachment on the foreign related for cubes. We we also study the sinus effect between the microalgae and bacteria. Microalgae and bacteria do uh, split the waste water. So, in this case, why I mentioned the sinus effect is that they have a symbiosis relationship between the microalgae and bacteria. So, the uh, symbiosis result implies that the bacteria can actually produce CO2 some of the inorganic nutrients or vitamins for the microbiome. And in this case, in the presence of light, the microbiome can actually use the product of the bacteria to carry out the photosynthesis or also treating the host water and the microbiome to this oxygen as well as some of the organic compound which serve as food for bacteria. And this process will continue as long well as of these species present in the balance. Knowing this biosis uh, process behind uh, together with the we actually manage to design a whole biological that can actually house these three types of microbes. So as you can see in the middle column, okay, maybe I will show by using the schematic diagram here. Okay, the middle column is actually uh, inoculated by the so the air cooler will actually initially treated by the bacteria. Uh, so the inflow will go here and then the waste water of the inflow will uh, eventually go up this uh, second compartment, which is the clarifier, where it will actually separate the microalgae, that's why it separates the bacteria from the treated waste water. And the air cooler from the bacteria now become food for the microalgae, or become food for the microalgae. The microalgae will treat the nutrient, the nutrient that present after the 
by previous achievements and eventually we will enter the second day, enter the campfire, second bar of the campfire, in order to separate the fetal disorder from the microbial cell. And now the killing disorder will be discharged through this fire. So in this case, the bacterial will actually be used to slow convert the ammonia to nitrates and also produce a slow uh, uh, for the microalgae. And the microalgae will actually utilize this bacteria for growth as well as to remove the remaining nitrates and eventually it will clean up the waste of the And the microalgae are nice harvested after the treatment, after the treatment process. Can actually use it to produce lipid and finally the lipid can be converted into bias. Okay, moving forwards, visualization is a phenomenon where the microalgae grows or the uh, growth in the uh, receiving or natural properties. And uh, one of my team managed to actually find a way to actually absorb this microalgae from the neutral fusion or neutral type of We use sugar cane bugs, more modified sugar cane bugs to remove the microalgae from the neutral water. And what happens is that this microalgae uh, will eventually uh, use to extract the lipid, again the lipid will convert it to biomassive. Okay, knowing this microalgae is capable to be so by the uh, organic uh, absorbers, we actually explore other types of organic uh, absorbers. In this case, we actually use the palm waste, okay, or the palm canal as well as the second largest producer of palm oil. So we produce all the palm waste as well. So we can actually use the palm waste okay, okay, to form, uh, to allow the, allow the microbiology to form the attachment. So as you can see that this is the suspended microalgae, we use it in the palm trees, and what happened there, as you can see the palm trees now have been covered by the microalgae to ease the separation process of the microalgae from the cultivation. And what next is that we try to enhance the absorption process by this palm trees uh, in order to remove more microalgae from the so we actually change the pH. So different pH have the capability to actually uh, allow the absorber to absorb the microalgae. We try to identify the best pH that can actually enhance the absorption process in microalgae. <coughs> then later on, not only we allow the microalgae to be absorbed into the uh, organic uh, absorbers Later on, once the absorption is complete, no more microalgae, we expose this uh, absorbance, this, this absorbance with the microalgae on the surface to grow. So how to make it grow? We actually expose it to the light. So we expose it to the light, we actually study the growth of videos in order to enhance the microalgae growth on the surface of this uh, uh, palm waste as well as uh, this micro, the effect microalgae now will allow to uh, synthesize and accumulate liquid in the cell before we harvest the palm waste together with the microalgae to produce biomassive. So while that part is completed, we actually study the mechanics and behavior of the microalgae. In this case, we are the guys. We want to know how this microalgae cell of the grown-up guys is capable to form the attachment. So we study the different angle, the surface energy of the attachment, the mode of the attachment. Not only the attachment, we want to know how strong the microalgae can form the attachment. So in this case, we study the energy of the Since coffee is the most applicable berries to the world, 
we should try to use the spare computer to be carrying out the same work in order to uh, compare the capability of this absorber to actually absorb the microwave gain, allow the microwave gain to grow on its surface, and we do a comparative study uh, in doing all the number. Thank you. 